Is black coffee good for you? Exploring the pros and cons. Coffee, a beloved beverage enjoyed by millions worldwide, is a complex and often debated topic when it comes to its impact on health. Black coffee, which is simply coffee brewed without the addition of cream, sugar or other flavourings, is often touted for its potential health benefits. However, like many things in nutrition, the answer isn't black and white. In this video, we'll delve into the pros and cons of black coffee consumption to help you better understand its effects on your health. The pros of black coffee. 1. Rich in antioxidants. Black coffee is a significant source of antioxidants, such as chlorogenic acid and quinines, which can help combat oxidative stress in the body. These compounds may reduce the risk of various chronic diseases. 2. Enhanced mental alertness. Caffeine, a natural stimulant found in coffee, can improve mental alertness, concentration and cognitive function. It's no surprise that many people turn to coffee to kickstart their day or stay productive. 3. Mood enhancement. Some studies suggest that moderate coffee consumption can lead to improved mood and a lower risk of depression. The reasons behind this are not entirely clear, but coffee's impact on neurotransmitters may play a role. 4. Reduced risk of certain diseases. Coffee consumption has been linked to a decreased risk of various conditions, including type 2 diabetes, Parkinson's disease and certain types of cancer, such as liver and colorectal cancer. However, the exact mechanisms are still under investigation. 5. Improved physical performance. Athletes often turn to coffee as a performance-enhancing aid. Caffeine can increase adrenaline levels and promote the breakdown of body fat for energy, improving endurance and strength during workouts. The cons of black coffee. 1. Caffeine sensitivity. Not everyone reacts to caffeine in the same way. Some individuals are more sensitive to its effects and may experience jitteriness, anxiety or sleep disturbances, even with small amounts of caffeine. 2. Insomnia. Consuming coffee, especially in the afternoon or evening, can interfere with sleep patterns. It can lead to difficulty falling asleep and staying asleep, resulting in a poorer quality of rest. 3. Digestive issues. Coffee is acidic and can sometimes lead to digestive discomfort, acid reflux or an increase in bowel movements. This may be particularly problematic for individuals with existing gastrointestinal issues. 4. Bone health. Excessive coffee consumption can lead to a reduction in calcium absorption, potentially affecting bone health. This is more concerning for individuals with lower calcium intake in their diets. 5. Heart health. While moderate coffee consumption is generally considered safe, excessive intake can lead to an increased heart rate, high blood pressure and potential cardiovascular concerns in certain individuals. 6. Pregnancy. Pregnant women are often advised to limit their caffeine intake. High levels of caffeine during pregnancy can pose risks to the developing fetus, including low birth weight and preterm birth. 7. Addiction and tolerance. Regular coffee drinkers may develop a tolerance to caffeine requiring more coffee to achieve the same effects. Sudden cessation can lead to withdrawal symptoms such as headaches and irritability. Conclusion In the black coffee good for you debate, the answer largely depends on your individual circumstances and tolerance levels. Moderation is key. For most people, three, four cups of black coffee per day is generally considered safe and can provide potential health benefits without significant risks. The pros of black coffee, such as its antioxidant content and potential mood-enhancing properties, make it an appealing choice for many. However, the cons, including caffeine sensitivity, digestive issues and the potential for sleep disturbances, warrant careful consideration. If you have specific health concerns or questions about how black coffee may impact your individual health, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian. As with many aspects of nutrition, what's good for one person may not be suitable for another. So understanding your body and its reactions to coffee is essential in making an informed decision about its role in your life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a comment with your thoughts.